Here's Eddie from Iron Maiden with the news. <sighs> Here we are. At least one consumer group is calling the latest government decision to allow a dollar a month charge for long-distance telephone hookups a lousy Christmas present. And the head of public citizen vows the group will fight the idea of a one dollar access fee starting in the spring. Good on you, Squire. Rotten on a Scrooge, I agree. Horrible. Nasty. But gas prices should remain pretty much the same through the holidays. The State American Automobile Association says unleaded premium gasoline at full service stations has dropped 2.3 cents per gallon to $1.43 since mid-November. So if you don't want gas prices to go up again, start eating those enchiladas again. Lots of them. Lots and lots of enchiladas. Barbecue beans. You know what I mean. All right, here's some boring news. American steel industry is getting some high-level diplomatic help. The one has announced that seven steel-producing nations have agreed to limit the amount of steel they send into the U.S. to compete with a home-produced product. The government says the economy seems to be growing at an annual rate of 2.8% during this, the fourth quarter of the year. So far this year, the economy has been growing at an annual rate of 6.7%, which I suppose is probably jolly good, really. Right, okay. Who am I to say? The government has approved a new idea. This is a good one. The government has approved a new method of removing painful kidney stones by attacking them with sound waves. Boom, thud, splat. Should be fatal, I imagine. Possibly by playing Iron Maiden very loud at the kidneys, the stones will be removed. Health and Human Sec Services Secretary Margaret Heckler calls the new product a modern medical, medical miracle. A modern medical medical, she called it, and so who am I to argue with that? Iron Maiden and Twisted Sister played at high volume dissolving kidney stones, that's what I call a public service for you. <laughs> Tonight, light snow ending this morning. No, today light snow ending this morning, which has already ended. Sunny this afternoon, high of 32. Tonight, clear and cold, low of 15. And Thursday, partly sunny, high of 30, and he's got 27 written here, so you can tell me if the weatherman is lying or not by tomorrow afternoon. Answer the postcard, please, and I'll let you back. I'm going to get the sack here, and how radio stays, I'm going to get the sack. <laughs> yeah! <laughs>